All right, so here it is. I am really excited to show you the Ferris Hill Press Esterbrook collaboration pen called Nebulous Plume. Um, it was a collaboration and a based on uh, kind of okay. It's a it's it's a space theme. <laughs> And let's see, it says in here, we invite you to join our multicolored intergalactic journey as we traverse time and space through a rainbow of six magnificent jewel tones. Blast off with us as we shoot for the moon and beyond to the furthest reaches of our infinite universe. So that is a mouthful. And um, I think that this pen is just stunning. It looks like the pictures that you can see and the videos that you can see of way, way, way out in the furthest reaches of our universe. Um, just all the amazing, beautiful colors and, and things that are going on out there that we can't see from our position here on Earth. But we see them in pictures taken by the Hubble telescope and other telescopes that are able to see out that far. It has just such, it's just a beautiful, absolutely stunning pen. It has some etching here on the pen clip and it has what looks like a star and maybe some etching that is to resemble planets and um, I'm not quite sure. To me, it looks like a little bit of Morse code, but I, you know, I'm most likely wrong. Uh, it has the Esterbrook logo etched in gold at the end of the cap. And here, around the entry to the section, it says Fairy Tales, because this is part of the Fairy Tales line. And it has stars engraved on there as well, embossed, engraved. Uh, this is a gold plated nib and the nib says Esterbrook and it has the date there and it also says Ferris Wool Press. I like, I really, I don't know, I just really think that I picked a fantastic pen um, and I'm really excited that I get to review this pen for you and um, gosh it's just, I can't get over how beautiful it is and of the several pens that we got in at the store they all looked completely different it was it was pretty amazing there were some that were darker all over kind of like this area and there were some that were much brighter that had the yellow and the orange and the red and the green just so bright and so vivid all over and I felt like this pen was a lovely combination of of all of it just and I, of course I really like the orange and red and yellow in this area as well and I like that it extends up on the section I just really think those are such beautiful happy colors and there's green and it's just oh, I can't get over how stunning this pen is and I'm just really excited to have one in my hands so I can share it with you. Again, this is a gold plated nib and I have this nib in a broad and I am going to show you a swatch of the ink that it comes with. So you can only get this ink in the set and this is the, um, it is a, uh, the name of the ink escapes me. Um, but uh, it is a blue ink with some coppery purple shimmer and I'm going to be completely honest with you there's nothing spectacular about this ink this ink has literally been done before and the blue looks just like Lamy blue so I've come in a little bit closer and I hope you'll be able to see this is my ink swatching card and we've got a little, let's agitate this some so we can try to get some of the shimmer in the swatch. 
I'm not a huge fan of shimmer inks. I don't like having to agitate the pen every few times I write with it. I don't like, I don't know, like you write a couple of sentences and then the shimmer stops and then you have to agitate your pen some more and then you know you have to basically beg the shimmer to come down through the pen you through the feed and the nib and you only get it for such a short time all right so let's let this dry for a moment and then we will talk about how i feel about the color okay so the ink is dried now so as you can see it is blue and you can see the red sheen and the coppery kind of color of the shimmer but i have to tell you in my opinion this color has been done it has been done by many 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 different ink uh, manufacturers i don't feel there's anything extraordinary about this ink color at all now it looks very deep and dark and rich because I swatched it, but when you write with this ink, it literally looks like Lamy Blue. I kid you not, if, you, if I was to pull out this ink from a cartridge and write with it, or pull out this ink, put it in my Lamy and write with it, and also then write with this ink in my pen, it would look the same because <laughs> they're just so similar of blues you know when you put down an ink swatch it's darker than what it comes out of when you write with it and I wrote with this ink in my journal for um, several pages and I will show you what that looks like all right so here it is the amazing broad nib nebulous plume fountain pen and all of its glory these are the kinds of things that I wrote in my journal and I don't know if you can really see but do you see, do you know, it's just a blue. It is just a blue ink. There is, it's just blue. After you write with it for a few sentences, it, there's no more shimmer. Um, it is literally just blue ink. That is all. So for me, I feel like I feel like Ferris Wool Press kind of missed the mark on this blue. There are so many other colors that they could have gone with. They could have gone with the same sheen and shimmer and put it in a green ink. They could have, I mean, they could have even brought back, you know, green with curiosity and put it in a different bottle and called it something else. And, or maybe taken a green that was lighter than green with curiosity something along the lines of the green that they have in here i don't know if you can tell do you see that kind of uh, not quite lime green it's more like a grassy green they could have done something like that they could have brought back something like moonlit jade or sunlit jade they could have made a new combination of an orangey red with the shimmer in it they i mean they could have done so many things and they just made this blue with red sheen and copper shading, which I could pull out so many other blues from different ink lines and do the exact same swatch with. So those are my feelings on the ink. I feel like they missed the mark there. They could have done a lot better, but then again, that's just my opinion. There are other people out there that are probably sure to love that blue and I am glad for them. For me, that is an ink that I probably will never use, but I will use this pen. It is an absolutely stunning pen. It can go with so many different ink colors. Um, I am enjoying the broad nib so far. It's a lot of fun to write with, super smooth, but then again, all Esterbrook nibs, they come factory, you know, super smooth and enjoyable. I really like it. I like, I love Esterbrooks, love their nibs. It is a gold plated nib. And again, Esterbrook is very clear that their nibs are gold plated as well. And some people were kind of upset because of the price point 
they feel like they should have gotten a actual gold nib. But I am here to say that I have several gold nibs and several of my gold nibs have needed smoothing. And I feel like if you're paying that kind of money for a gold nib, I shouldn't have to do work to make it right better. I've never had to do that with an Esterbrook and definitely didn't have to do that this time. Um, this is just a deliciously phenomenal pen. It's it's just gorgeous. It's, it's sure to add flair and fun and excitement to any fountain pen collection that it joins. It's brilliant. This is a brilliant pen. Esther Brook and Fairy Tales did a great collaboration and they really, they hit the mark with their pen. They missed the mark with their ink. But I digress. Thank you so much for watching my little review of this pen. I hope you have enjoyed and um, I thank you so much for watching and all of your support. If you would like to get your hands on one of these pens, you can follow the link that I have to our shop uh, at Anamoya and you can get your hands on one of the last ones that we have. Enjoy and I wish you happy writing and awesomeness and greatness. Thanks so much.